today we are north of uh, Montreal, Boisbriand. We are doing another installation. Uh, as you can tell, the uh, weather is getting colder. Uh, fall is almost over. Winter is in the corner. Uh, and uh, this customer is getting ready for the winter. They ha the basement was flooded uh, a couple of months ago um, because they had uh, four hours of power failure. Uh, so having a generator is essential for them. Uh, we are doing uh, the whole house so that they have peace of mind during the freezing rains and all, all those power outages that are going to happen during the winter. It's still the weather is not bad to do the installations when it's uh, freezing rain during the winter time and there is a couple of feet of snow. Uh, the installation is pretty tough. Uh, we still do the installations at those uh, time of the at that time of the year too, but uh, it's much easier to be uh, prepared for the winter and that kind of weather. As you can see, we have already um, placed the generator at the location that we had in, um, discussed with the customer. Uh, we are feeding the whole house. It's a little bit uh, tricky the, the way we are doing the connection because all these pipes were hidden. Uh, they have wood fireplace and for an electric furnace um, so uh, we will put a module for the furnace to postpone it and in case it was overloading the generator a wood fireplace is going to warm up the house um, generator is in place transfer switch is going to be outside um, and then we will re redo the connections uh, to make the generator functional for them which area are you located? I'm in St. Lazar. St. Lazar. You said it's on a standby generator, right? Yeah, we haven't hooked it up yet. I just got it. Uh, so do you want to do the connect? Do you want us to do the connections too, or not really? You have your electrician. Uh, we haven't figured out how we're going to connect it yet. Do you do the propane connection as well? Yes. And how much do you charge for that? How far is it from the propane? So yeah, this the, we get many calls to do the maintenance on these generators too because uh, most of the time people who are doing the installation are not certified by Generac to do the repair and maintenance. Uh, so this person has purchased the generator and is going to bring it to our office so that we can check it out and make sure it's functional, it's in good order and then we most probably is going to ask us or anybody else to do the installation for them but that's a uh, that's critical to have uh, someone who is certified uh, on your side uh, to make sure that this investment that you're doing is safe and secure uh, otherwise you're putting this uh, big amount of money on this uh, installation and yet the generator is not functional or has a problem that you can't find anybody to fix it. Yeah, it, it are, we, we, most, we, we highly recommend to go with someone who is certified technician of uh, Generac to be safe. Sounds good. So uh, the other things that I wanted to mention is about the financing. There are some sort of financing available and other companies are providing it too. Um, the problem is the interest rate is pretty high and it's hidden in the cost. Uh, most uh, customers they don't even notice that there is uh, 14 or 17 percent of interest and they are technically in 10 years they are paying double the amount that they should pay um, we have this option but we uh, tell the customer uh, all the hidden costs and uh, the interest rate so if they want to proceed uh, it's their decision uh, unfortunately there are some companies that hide it from the customers and um, they are getting overcharged for something that they could have avoided uh, in the beginning. Um, so yeah, that's about the financing. Uh, if you go uh, one shot, the price is better. If you're doing financing, you're paying over 10 years. Uh, most probably you're going to pay double the uh, price of the uh, generator and installation over the 10 years uh, the warranty doesn't change anything we still offer seven years of warranty at this time of the year uh, you have to do the maintenance in order to keep the warranty va valid 
uh, first time is after six months or 25 hours of operation and then every 100 hours or every year whichever comes first so let's say you had if you had four days of power failure you need to do the maintenance on it uh, and then run the generator again uh, if not anything is wrong with the generator uh, there is a chance that generac voids the warranty um, you have to keep the record of the maintenance that you have done uh, if we do the maintenance uh, for the customers we keep the record so if ever generac asks us for the time and you know details of the maintenance and the repair we have them all and we will provide it to generac so customers have peace of mind about the maintenance warranty uh, and they know that the generac is functional during the power failures